All right, man. So we back again. We back again with another one, right? And you're gonna be your favorite villain, bro. I even got. <laughs> oh, but I even got this this nigga tatted on me. When I say I got this nigga tatted on me, I don't mean the uh, deleted. Just <clears throat> I see a lot of people um reacting to him, so I'm like, all right, let me let me go ahead and see what they talking about type shit. And I know he showed the Joker, so what I want to tell y'all, I got the Joker tatted on me. So yeah, your favorite villain type shit. But nah, man. So we heard um deleted woke up on demon time, bro. He he woke up. This nigga said, "Fuck peace." He wants problems. So we finna get into this, bro. We finna see what our favorite villain talking about right now. All right, y'all. You know I ain't biased here. I ain't gonna lie. I damn near needed some upliftment to even do this video. I'm tapped out. I'm exhausted. What? Well, when? When the hell is Tyler coming out? I need something new. This will probably be the last take I have for this big three beef, if you even want to call it a beef. At this point, it's more like tofu. It seems that on Kendrick's side, I'm the only creator that's gonna say this. I've watched so many people's takes on this interview, and I'm actually the only person that seems to feel this way. So maybe I'm the problem. What did Kendrick say again on Father? Time. Guess I'm not mature as I think. Got some healing to do. Yeah, I guess that's me right now. It's good. I could be the only one that feels this way. Shit, I'ma stand on it. K Dot's interview had all us hip hop fans fed up, and I don't have time to argue with the meat writers that act like academics. Big Chalupa with extra extra sour cream gurgling at making excuses or rebuttals of how they agree or love the interview. And I'm bro, it's like. I don't want to say nothing offensive, bro, but the fact that everybody, well, I'm not even going to say everybody, but it's just like right now, the only two niggas that I would say that's glazing the hell out of Drake is Ak. Uh, well, right now, the only nigga I can, I, I can pretty much say is Ak. I'm pretty sure there's a few other niggas, but right now, Ak is the only nigga that I know is glazing the hell out of this shit, bro. Um, I guess I was, I guess I was mistaken one time, bro, because, um, when academic used to do his well he still does whatever he does um yeah i did get confused because what i was gonna say was i could have sworn act had something against kendrick back then but now i guess if my mind is, is correct it was more the beef was with um mcmills you feel me so when this whole shit popped off bro at one point i was gonna like at one point i was thinking to myself i'm like bro I thought, I thought I didn't really, you know, mess with uh, Drake like that. I, I didn't, but apparently I was wrong, bro. Apparently I was wrong. It was the other way around. He don't fuck with dark-skinned niggas. I love him some light-skinned niggas, but he hate him some dark-skinned niggas, apparently. I'm crazy. All the people that are going to say, He doesn't need to have a different answer. He can answer the way he wants to. Ask me if I care, because I don't. As a hip-hop fan, I hated it. As a stand on all 10 type of dude, I hated it even more. Was it brilliant to take control over the interview and not let anyone ask you tough, specific, uncomfortable questions? Hell yeah, that was brilliant. Am I for having your day one old label mate SZA interview you? But also a low key statement, throwing a slight shade at Drake because he stated SZA got, but also a low key statement, throwing a slight shade at Drake of dude i hated it even more was it brilliant to take control over the interview and not let anyone ask you tough specific uncomfortable questions hell yeah that was brilliant am i for having your day one old label mate scissor interview you but okay I, that's what i was trying to figure out what he meant by like your day one old um label like who is it y'all let me know like was she Bro, I ain't never know what kind of label um Kendrick, uh, Kendrick was even signed to. So, y'all let me know who she is. Y'all give me the rundown. The 411. You get me? But also a low-key statement. Throwing a slight shade at Drake because he stated SZA got you wiped down. You ain't in no big three. SZA got you wiped down. Around the time he had an anthem with her and Sexy Red. So, this interview screams loudly of whose side she's on. Especially knowing Drake is definitely sad and bothered by this because he's always up.
Hey, listen, listen. Um, it's funny to me. It's funny. The reason why this shit is funny to me is because. So you're telling me, you're telling me, if it's okay for Drake to be sitting here picking a fight with anybody, talking his smack about any black female or anybody, right? It is okay. He gets a pass. He is from uh, almost at Toronto. He is from Toronto. He, he 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 can do that, right? So basically, he makes hell of a he makes hell of good music to the point where he can get away with bashing anybody, talking shit about anybody, right? He don't need to um. He don't need to face no consequence. He don't need he don't he don't need to get no repercussion type shit, right? But you're telling me it's a problem when a dark skinned nigga from uh I'm not even sure where what exactly where um Kendrick's is from. I I'ma just say I'ma just e- even if he's not, but I'ma just put it like this. So you're telling me it's a problem when a when a uh um when a Compton nigga, that's what I meant to try to say. It's a problem when a Compton nigga open his mouth and say something about y'all favorite light skin nigga, right? So what I'm assuming is, oh, you know, he, he got feelings. He's just like us. He's human. Like, bro. <sighs> Bias as fuck. That's what it is with y'all. What was that? What was, what, what was that shit that, that two times said? Oh. It's cool when they do it. It's a problem when I do it. Tight about his old flings, where he made a living off of making songs about them. It's also coming full circle to the initial diss on the BT Cypher, in which Kendrick disses Drake, calling him sensitive on how he took the control verse earlier that year. I'm about to crack the Da Vinci Code, yeah, and nothing been the same since they dropped control and took the sense of the rapper back in his pajama clothes. With a younger SZA bobbing her head in the background. All that was perfect. It was a chef's kiss. And I get why hip hop media could feel away. Kendrick went to Harper Bazaar magazine that has nothing to do with the culture. But I don't blame Kendrick, since most of the big hip hop media outlets are Drake guzzlers. And they played on Dot's name, gaining full control of how you're perceived without misconstruing your words. That was all calculated and strategic and just dope as fuck. But with all that being said, I feel that the interview shouldn't have happened if he was going to make a hypocritical and contradicting statement specifically about the song not like us this video will what? Hi, waffle. Waffle? Hi, waffle. Yeah. where is it up there focus solely on that particular segment of the interview my while man, other my, creators my have highlighted the positive aspects such as kendrick's reflections on his personal growth i'll be addressing the specific issue that's currently gaining significant attention on social media and i know y'all gonna hate me for this video it's good villain type shit gotham city it is see what i was trying to say see? ain't listen listen now nah, my boy now nah, delete it talk your shit let, let the people hear what you gotta say you feel me shit hey that when i started when i started off the video and i was like i know they showed the 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 um the joker and this shit i really got that listen i know they finna be like bro really had to get up to show the tattoo hell yeah they got what Y'all can't see it, but, um, nah, that should be like, that shit said, why so serious? And for real, why are y'all so serious? Sensitive ass mug. It is what it is, but one thing is for sure. This just made me appreciate the greats even more. Tupac and Biggie, Hova and Nas, 50 Cent and M versus Ja Rule, Eminem versus ICP, Jay-Z versus Dipset, Lil Wayne versus The Eclipse. I appreciate real hip hop, real rap, the battles, the war wounds, the scars, the competition. I'm a hip hop head, a natural competitor. I see blood when it's wartime. I play to win. And in my fantasy of a world being a a content creator to battle against the Drake Gurglers fan base such as academics I put myself on Kendrick's team by default even though he could care less and don't know I exist no one asked me to do this that's on me it's annoying as fuck though that I have to unfortunately be the guy that's unbiased also the guy who can take a step back and look at the entire picture regardless of how I feel I hate that I have to nah bro I think what it is is more so like like you gonna call it out for what it is a lot of people are gonna pick one side and just stick with it with you it's like you're basically going off on both sides who's right who's wrong type shit you feel me like they say two wrong don't make a right 
two wrong don't make a right. So with that being said, even though if you say some people ain't gonna like this shit, it's basically you're just calling the obvious. You're just you know stating the facts type shit. Not everybody gonna do that. Admits that Drake's bitch ass had the old school rap spirit in him. Seen blood, wore up, and stood on everything he felt and said. Again, I'm not biased. Even if I don't like Drake for how he moves in the industry or the things he's done to the industry and hip hop in general, or approving the prejudice takes like what's the dirt? Who says racially biased stereotype? Bro, who is this nigga? I've been like, I've been seeing some people post them like, so who, who DJ who kid? Like y'all, let me know who this who this is, bro. Typical comments like Kendrick being the Messiah of rap and a milkman, or especially when Drake mocked slavery and thought the shit was funny. Who would have thought this would be the motherfucker who would be? The and this is the reason why now we have a lot of females that want to talk about niggas this day. Deep day. Oh, if a nigga do this, he is sus. If a nigga do this, he is sus. So. I have yet to hear any female, any fucking female get on here and be like, oh, if you do the duck lip, if you put bogles in your hair, you you a yada yada. That is sus. But y'all stay picking on any regular nigga that, that, that actually, I'm not even going to say manly, like y'all y'all pick on anybody that actually like, you know, that follow through with their gender, y'all pick on them. Niggas, like I seen this one video yesterday. I don't even know if it was for real or not, but this one girl was talking about, oh, ain't no female want to get in the bed with a guy that got rough ass hand. Like I get it, you do, you do manly job, but your hand is too damn rough. I like y'all pick and choose who y'all wanna like, basically try to bully, bro. And that shit is retarded to me. Like I see all this talk about niggas is sus. If they do this, they're sus. If they eat like this, they're sus. But we are not gonna sit here and call this nigga sus. We're not going to sit here and just maybe just for one, just for one minute and just assume something sus. The only one out of the three to stand on what he's behind and give the fighting spirit of not backing down by any means and not contradicting or being a hypocrite during the entire battle. And we are talking about strictly rap. The lyrics. This is what we're talking about here. We're talking about straight up beef battle mode. J. Cole folded. Kendrick's contradicting himself. Drake has remained Drake in this beef. Now, that could be a good thing in the back. Bro, that shit had pissed me. That shit had pissed me off when Kendrick folded. Not Kendrick. When J. Cole. When J. Cole wanted to go out and apologize and take down his diss, it's like, bro, in my opinion, isn't it the whole point of rap? Isn't it the whole point of, you know, to see who's the best um MC type shit? Like, and then you, you come back a month later or some shit. I think, what was it, three months later, four months later? So talking about, oh, no, I think where they wanted us to take this shit, you wanted to click, you wanted the views. Like, bro, what? Y'all started some shit and giving it to the people. So listen, whatever y'all putting out, of course we're gonna look at it and be like, "Oh, what y'all talking about?" That thing, I guess. I mean, if you want to be morally correct, right? Maybe that shows that Drake has no growth as a person. I mean, we all know that he acts like a man child. But at the same time, this is hip hop, and if I have to compare Drake to previous hip hop legendary hip hop beefs. He's moving like a hip hop artist. I hate that I have to actually give this dude props when it comes to hip hop and battle rap because I would like it to be about the nigga I'm siding with. Unlike you Drake fans, I know when it's time to say we took an L and this is the time. And unlike you Meat Rod and J. Cole and even K-Dot fans, I know when to say I can't stand by something. And I'm not asking for him to incriminate himself as a gang member. I'm not asking him to name drop Drake either. But to say not like us is about his morals as a man is bizarre no pun intended during his interview with SZA she would ask can I ask you a hyper masculine question you can also tell me to shut the fuck up what does not like us mean to you Kendra will respond laughing not like us not like us is the energy of who I am the type of man I represent now if you identify with that man that I represent like I like I told you y'all let me know who SZA is but uh <clears throat> I don't think I would have took that response from uh, I, now, now I see where delete, the word deleted is coming from. Okay, now I understand you. To be real with you, I would not have taken that um, that response, bro. I would assume 
I would assume if somebody actually asked you what is not like us mean, you would have just flat out just been like, it, it means what it means. Not like us. You're not like us, bro. You're doing shit that some of us won't. You're doing shit that some of us wouldn't do. You're doing shit that some of us, uh, you're doing shit that that like that goes against your morals. You're doing shit that that don't fit right with us. Like you're just you're not like us, bro. Like, and on top of that, if he's talking about Drake, right? <laughs> if he's talking about Drake, just just picture this part. He's saying that you're not like us, bro. Um, wasn't it wasn't it Booker T that bodied him? That that somebody said it was Booker T that bullied him to being their dad, right? All right, so that was one. And on um, that was one, and Drake, Drake, uh, not Drake, Kendrick, saying not like us is basically almost saying like, bro, you're you're not from our culture, you don't know shit about our culture, bro. Like there was this one interview that I was watching, right, about uh, Drake and um, where they where like, bro, it's like somebody couldn't get over the fact it's just the way that he said the N word. They're like, bro, he said the N word with a hard R, and I had to watch it again, and I'm like. That's how you know you ain't never been around some black people, bro. Like, cause how the hell you use the N word with the hard R? Like that just tells me you've been around nothing but um non African American people, basically. You feel me? So I would have took I like I I get you now, deleted like on the you know, that was the worst way to respond, like it, SZA would intervene, break the man down for me. Kendrick Lamar would say, This man has morals. He has values. He believes in something. He stands on something. He's not pandering. He's a man who can recognize his mistakes and not be afraid to share the mistakes and can dig deep down into fear-based ideologies or experiences to be able to express them without feeling like he's less of a man. If I'm thinking of not like us, I'm thinking of me and whoever identifies with that. Scissor then asks, now can I say something else in that realm or you want me to get away from that? Can I ask you something else? Kendrick Lamar asks, is it me? Scissor says, no, it's more like I thought it was really interesting that there was any consensus at all that you might be an angry individual. For me, I don't find that any energy that comes from you comes from an angry place. And actually, the last hour and change pretty much solidifies that it's almost from a yogic monk-like place. So when you feel the surge of energy and records like that, is it anger? Kendrick Lamar would then respond, I don't believe in an angry person, but I do believe in love and war, and I believe they both need to exist exist and my awareness of that allows me to react to things but not identify with them as who I am just allowing them to exist and allowing them to flow through me that's what I believe basically Kendrick saying he won't let a battle change his morals or him as a person and what he stands for SZA then responds I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead before I say something crazy man he should have said it means what it says not like us and kept it pushing that's just me though he should have just said that he should have said it means not like us he doesn't need to explain he doesn't need to go into detail fuck all that other shit it means not like us that's the statement right there it means so, technic so technically you should like basically what the leader said bro you should have just answered with the uh, it just means what it means not like us just take it how you take it with a grain of salt or not bro just put the picture together and it should make sense to you but you kind of trying to you try to downplay downplay the whole not like us you had everybody singing not like us to like you know basically you're calling drake a petty a uh, pedo you're calling um a culture vulture like you said all this in a song and you're basically just trying to like you put all this in a song to tell to say that you're not like us bro you don't have the culture like us you 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 don't you don't you don't have the motion like us type shit bro but you downplayed the not like us to some moral oh, okay okay deleted bro delete it listen you about to be my favorite villain means not like us don't discredit the song don't fuck up the impact just say it's not like us i mean he didn't necessarily say anything wrong it was a very humble response it's very clear he's taking a jab at cole and drake using the word pandering which basically is j cole i mean i guess it could be drake too but mostly j cole and pretty much also coming for drake just overall coming for drake 
discrediting Drake for not being a man of morals, which he's not. We all know that. Drake's a whole bitch and doesn't act like a grown man. He acts like a 15-year-old lesbian. And I'm not saying 15-year-old lesbians don't have morals. I'm not saying that. I'm saying like... <laughs> Okay, see, I would have took it what he just said, but I would have been like, hold on, hold on, let me replay back just so I know, just so I know what I'm about to say. Which he's not, we all know that. Drake's a whole bitch and doesn't act like a grown man. He acts like a 15-year-old lesbian, and I'm not saying... Okay, he act like a 15-year-old lesbian, right? It's an identity crisis, bro, you're not sure, like... At, okay, at the age of 15, to be honest with you, a lot of people sometimes at the age of 15 are still trying to find their self, are still trying to understand certain things about their self, you feel me? So, it's to say, like, bro, you a grown-ass man, and it look like you're not even sure what the hell you want to be, bro. Like, isn't it weird how more and more time went by, Drake went from looking, like, Drake went from looking like a light-skinned rapper to a light-skinned thug to a light-skinned... Uh, dyke 15 year old lesbians don't have morals I'm not saying that I'm saying like you know usually when you're young you don't really move like that morally correct but also I just say he looks like a 15 year old lesbian cause he does however he wasn't being morally correct when he said fuck the big three it's just big me or when he dropped meet the grams bringing people's family involved talking to this man's son becoming his new daddy by giving him fatherly advice in a sense being a better father than Drake. Although he didn't start the low blows, he sure and he'll finish them. And he especially wasn't morally correct when he dropped Not Like Us. This wasn't about morals at all. He was being just as petty as Drake and he showed up as the boogeyman. He wanted the crown, so he pressed them niggas. And he should have. This is rap, and they were playing in his face. So we called them out. Not like us. A man of morals. Morally correct. What does this mean? Morally correct means something is in accordance with moral principles and is considered morally good. It involves being able to distinguish between right and wrong and acting in a way that is guided by values. He didn't act that way when he set it off with the like that verse and continued through Not Like Us. We know Not Like Us stem from Drake's slave comment though, and he rebuttaled by saying Drake's a white boy. We also- Hold on. Hold on, I just, I, I want this picture real quick, just in case, uh, not just in case, I'm a, I gotta make this my thumbnail on YouTube, so hold on. Wait. All right. Drake's slave comment though, and he rebuttaled by saying Drake's a white boy. We also know it stemmed from Drake questioning Kendrick's affiliation with gangs in Compton, in which Kendrick did a loud flame. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Drake? Drake mom is white and his dad is black, right? I wonder why he had daddy issues. No, that dad is the The response at a Ken and Friends concert, it also stemmed from so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. My bad, my bad. I know I'm too close to the mic, but hold on. Can y'all hear me? How about now? All right, y'all can hear me now, right? So hold on, hold on. Is that the reason why he discriminate black girls? Is that the reason why he put them down? Is that the reason why he, like... We can't forget this nigga that was chasing fucking Nicki Minaj, bro. Nicki Minaj could have told this nigga to eat her sh and she, he probably would have. And from Drake using Tupac and Snoop's voice in an AI diss track towards Kendrick. And let's not forget. I know y'all tired of me pausing it, but hold on. For real though, I keep hearing about like he had did a AI Tupac verse type shit. I have yet to hear it. If y'all know the name of that video, y'all put it in the comment down below and let me check it out, all right? About Kendrick stating, What I learned is Knicks don't like the West Coast and I'm fine with it. I'll push the line with it. Basically stating that Drake and the rest of the world can't relate to the West Coast. People don't show the West Coast love and a lot of the West Coast music is slept on because damn near everyone was calling Kendrick's songs boring and not relatable except for Kendrick's core fans. And of course, shining the light on Drake's PDF allegations. His Not Like Us song was a statement, an answer to all of that. But 
When SZA asked Kendrick what it meant, his response ultimately made him sound like another contradicting rapper. This could ultimately diminish the impact of the song if he's not supporting the message it was originally meant to convey. And this, this may not be that deep to the listeners out there listening right now. Yeah, you, it might, you might not care about all of that. Like, man, it's just an interview right because it seems like most of the fans support it you may feel that he displayed a class act persona but it's way deeper than that for me and my peers that have an audience who have been in our own battle our own war through the civil war kendrick basically made every hip-hop blogger commentator radio host anyone that sided with him and went at the Drake gobblers like Academics or Maul or Aiden and their huge ass fan bases that all openly You see earlier when I said I know there's a few Drake gobblers that didn't know who to name Pretty shaded deleted Attack K dot spinning narratives that we that myself we all challenged He made our words weightless by contradicting himself and by being a hypocrite So like every video I done to this point he made my own words contradicting. I mean, y'all was all there. They were going in on Kendrick when they were saying he was a contradiction because of the abuse allegations towards Whitney because he cheated on Whitney with a white woman or because he wiped a biracial woman to begin with when they also called him a contradiction because he's doing the halftime show but once stated he was for Kaepernick and against the NFL. And even though all those are not true whatsoever and I don't agree with any of those takes, he did did, however contradict himself by answering a question that we all already know the real answer to hey for those hey for those that grew up in the hood right don't never mind well for us we need to call it the little dilly uh little 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 dilly ma uh lady the little dilly little dilly blah, blah, blah. i can't even fucking say it right what y'all call it? Y'all call it freeze cup type shit. Where y'all from, right? This remind me of the little dilly lady from from my hood, bro. Like, listen, a fifty cents get you two bags. No, a dollar gets you two bags of chips. Um, shit, for fifty cents you can get a sausage. Um, shit, maybe for fifty cents you can get a snow cone, bro. Ah, this nigga brought back some good memories. People see and hear and read things very surface level. Now, to the Kendrick fans that are going to be against this video, you could say that about me. Oh, you're looking at it surface level. It's deeper than that. Now, nah, I'm looking at it in all four corners of a square because Drake fans and the rest of the world, they are usually surface level thinkers. These are the same people that would argue with me in the comments when I was breaking down Kendrick's lyrics. I know how they think. This basically made all their assumptions hold more weight in their peon brains everything they've been feeling that kendrick is a walking contradiction and how they may feel like they've always been right this entire time by discrediting the whole entire beef to begin with i don't want to hear about agendas either man this ain't no agenda this isn't an agenda nah this is a hip-hop fan who just wants rap bro Lyrical warfare, nothing serious. It wasn't even that serious until academics and Drake's bitch ass started pushing the narrative, calling OVO goons and Drake calling out Kendrick's affiliation. It was always a friendly fade. Kendrick didn't take personal shots until Drake did. But with all that being said, everything up until this point represented true hip hop. I say up until this point because his response undermines the impact and statement of Not Like Us, which ultimately crowned Kendrick as the victor sure if we break down his response it can somewhat align with the overall meaning of not like us but only kendrick fans are doing that so again to everyone else it diminishes the original message i'm gonna be honest this shit pissed me off all right man i'm gonna i'm gonna catch on the next one make sure y'all hit that like and that subscribe and um shit just let me know who to do next uh, check out a few of my videos. Let me know who to react to, by the way, too. Follow your boy on Twitch. One.